Yo, what is up guys? If you are on an iPhone 6 and below and you want to upgrade to iOS 13 or iOS 14, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy method to be able to do that. So um, Apple doesn't really want you to upgrade it to iOS 13 or iOS 14 because they want you to purchase a new iPhone. But guys, I'm going to be showing you guys a complete workaround that will allow you to upgrade your device so you will be on the latest up-to-date version of iOS 13 or iOS 14 or whatever you select. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So um, if you do download iOS 14 and you are on an iPhone 6, you may um, have like your battery might drain quicker um, than, you know, if you're on a, like a later iPhone. So um, what I did on my iPhone 6, I put it to iOS 13.0, but um, yeah, you can put it to 14.0 uh, if you want or 14.3. But let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So um, this is working as of 2021. All you need to do is go ahead and download this um, application right here. It's called Upgrade++. Plus Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install this. Um, you do not have to jailbreak or root your device and you're not gonna find this on the App Store as well. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So you wanna go ahead and go to your home screen. Once you're on your home screen, go ahead and go to settings. Once you're in settings, go ahead and look for general. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to background app refresh. Make sure this is set to Wi-Fi and cellular data. So you guys can see I have it set on Wi-Fi and cellular data. Go ahead and click back, click back, click to settings. Now you wanna go ahead and make sure you guys do not have low power mode enabled. So if you guys see the battery tab right there and you guys see low power mode, if your phone looks like that, go ahead and turn off low power mode. All you need to do now is go to your home screen and we're gonna start the download process now. So. You want to go ahead and go to your internet browser. So if you guys are using Google Chrome, Safari, whatever it is, I'm going to be using Safari today. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And you want to go to this website right here. It's called injectapp.org. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. It's injectapp.org. So there it is right there. Um, just take a minute, go to the website, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, the next steps you need to complete to upgrade your device. So guys, before I start the tutorial, I want to let you guys know I am doing a giveaway today. Um, ASUS did give me a couple of these 3070 Ti's, so I will be giving away two. So all you need to do is comment below, um, subscribe to the channel, and say why you deserve, um, or not deserve, but like kind of why you want it and what you would do with it if you did get the 3070 Ti. And let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So like I said, we are on the website right here, injectapp.org. So make sure you type it in correctly. That's exactly what the website should look like. We're gonna go ahead and click the search bar. And then we're going to go ahead and type in upgrade and then click done. All right, it should load. There it is right there. It says upgrade plus plus. I don't know what all these other ones are, but you want to go ahead and select the very top one that says team excrete upgrade plus plus. It is completely free as well. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to go ahead and say injection is required. And you guys can see we still are on the inject app website. So we're going to go ahead and just click the start injection button. It will start downloading it, so you just gotta give it a couple of seconds to download. And if you guys are not on Wi-Fi, it may take longer than others. So yeah, just, just let it um, process the download. It should only take maybe like 30, 40 seconds. All right, so it is starting the injection process. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing. All right, so um, it needs to complete this app injection process. So your device will recognize the upgrade plus plus as a valid application. So if that was a little confusing, basically what you need to do is download two apps off this list, run them for 30 seconds, and then your device will recognize the upgrade plus plus, and then you will be able to upgrade to iOS 13 and above. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I did this. I downloaded this first one right here. It's called CyberGhost VPN. You're gonna go ahead and click go to the app store. It's gonna go ahead and say download. All you need to do is click download. And then once you downloaded it, just go ahead and tap on the screen here and just leave it open for about 30 seconds. And you're gonna notice like a blinking white light. So you see that light right there? That means it's extracting all the data and it is um, getting all the verification checks and putting it onto the upgrade plus plus. So you will be able to upgrade your iOS. And like I said, guys, this is completely free and completely safe. So there's no way like your device will be compromised or anything like that. So after you leave it open for 30 seconds, go ahead and double tap, go back to the app injection page. And let me go ahead and close out of all this. Okay, so you're gonna need to download a second one. So I downloaded this one called Solitaire 300. Just leave it open for 30 seconds. Once you're done, done with that, go ahead and scroll to the bottom. And you're gonna see right here, it says checking completion. Um, it's gonna check your device and make sure everything was properly installed. Go ahead and close out now. 
and you should see it right here on your home screen but yeah I moved mine over you see where I put it it was like way over here there is right there upgrade plus plus once you have that you just open it up and select the iOS Apple doesn't want you to be able to do this so um, be sure to subscribe to the channel I will be making more content like this in the future but yeah this will this should save you like some money so you don't have to upgrade to another iPhone and yeah hope you guys enjoy this until next time see you guys